Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today I rise to recognize Chessie Prout, a courageous young woman who's shown tremendous bravery and resolve in the wake of a tragic and disturbing act that no one should ever have to face. Chessie was sexually assaulted by an upperclassman at her boarding school when she was just 15 years old. And just last month, after lengthy and traumatic legal proceedings, Chessie came on national television to reclaim her identity and take back what was stolen from her. Chessie's willingness to publicly tear, share her story will let other survivors know that they too can come out of the shadows and they are not alone. Speaking out against this painful ordeal, Chessie went through, took a huge amount of strength and courage. Like so many people, I'm inspired by her actions and I hope that they empower other survivors to come forward. Sadly, Chessie's ordeal is not unique. One out of every six American women have been victims of sexual assault. And while our country has made progress on this issue, survivors of sexual assault continue to face far too many obstacles in their pursuit of justice. That's why I have co-sponsored the Survivors' Bill of Rights, legislation that would codify important basic rights for sexual assault survivors. The House and Senate have passed this bill, and I urge the President to sign it into law. Thanks to the courage of people like Chessie Prout, we've taken important steps to change the culture around sexual assault, and I know together that we can build on our progress. Mr. Speaker, I yield back.